Y'all seem to like this One Piece content. We are back and we got four new Jolly Rogers that I designed based on comments from the video that was made based on comments from the first video. So I took viewer comments about what their name of their pirate crews would be and then I turned them into Jolly Rogers. You're familiar with the format. Let's get into it. Now the first one being the Blue Line Buccaneers. First, that's a dope name. Second, I thought, okay, Buccaneers. So immediately I'm thinking sword. But then I kind of took some inspiration from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and had some kind of, you know, pirate kind of flag there, Buccaneer flag that can also double as a flame coming from behind or off of the sword. And then I had the smile there and then have the sword covering the eye. So it's kind of like the sword is covering up the eye patch or the sword is the eye patch, whichever your interpretation you prefer. And yeah, the Blue Line Buccaneers, great name. And I think it's a great Jolly Roger. Now, Lion's Tooth, first off, very creative name. So Lion's Tooth for this pirate crew, I immediately started with the Lion's Tooth. So I researched, see what a Lion's Tooth is, and I came across many pictures of the necklace. So I took the Lion's Tooth necklace, and then I said, hmm, I could actually make the Lion's Tooth go all the way around the skull and kind of make a mane of some sort. So I did that, and then I had the eyes there, and then I had the nose kind of be a triangle because, you know, cat nose is more of a triangle than a circle. So put it all together and there you got the lion's tooth. Now the hockey pirates, that's, that's interesting there. The hockey pirates. So I went with immediately, I was like, okay, instead of, you know, the skull, usually that, you know, skull and crossbones for pirates. So instead of the crossbones, I do the cross hockey sticks. So, but then as I was tinkering around with it, I was like, okay, this might not translate as the hockey sticks if I have both of them behind the skull or I'd have to make the skull real small. So actually what I did was have one of the hockey sticks go in front of the face, kind of like a uh, scar or where an eye patch would be. So I have one of them going in front of the face and I have another of the hockey sticks going behind the face. And then a little subtle thing, cause you know, hockey players be, you know, losing their teeth sometimes. So I have the smile and then one of the smiles is blacked out, you know, representing kind of the missing tooth there. So the hockey pirates. Now, this last one I'm gonna share with you give some background on this individual who said he wanted to be the smooth criminal pirates. If there's a character in any anime, actually any, just any medium, any, any fictional story period, anybody, you know, that smooth, you know, unnecessary backflips over the top, like demeanor of like, I'm just so cool. Blah, blah, blah. This person is going to gravitate towards that character. So him naming his pirate crew, the smooth criminals, does not surprise me one bit. And I had fun with this one. So with this one, I took the Smooth Criminal for the Michael Jackson video. So I had to do the hat. So I had to do the hat, Smooth Criminal. I did some shades, you know, because I didn't want to do the regular eyes. I kind of want to do like more subdued eyes because you know, people be trying to act like they cool. So I had the eyes and made that into some shades. And then I actually, proud of this i actually made the the two strands of hair that you see in the michael jackson video but i actually made them like into the skull so it's like a scar kind of thing so i'm really proud of how how that came together for the smooth criminal pirates that'll do it for this video thanks for watching be sure to like share and subscribe let me know in the comment section down below which one was your favorite. And if you want me to do more of these, give me some more names and I'll give the people what they want. Remember, as you go along in life, teach as you learn and inspire as you do. See you next time.